What are derivatives? Are you afraid of some financial concepts? If so, don't you worry, you are not alone. A lot of people run away in tears after meeting derivatives for the first time. Explaining a complex term with other even more complex terms is not the best idea. However, it seems that's what most videos and articles do. Can somebody change this? Of course! Fasten your seatbelts. After five minutes, you'll understand derivatives better than you thought you could. What exactly are derivatives? Let's take baby steps. Derivatives are financial contracts between two or more parties. All of them are about some assets. Which ones? Stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, exchange rates, and some others. Anything that has value and a changing price. What is so special about those contracts? All of them are about the future price of those assets. And no, we're not talking about divination, although there is a bit of prediction here. With the help of derivatives, one party can protect itself from the unexpected rise or fall of the price. The other party, meanwhile, enters into the contract to profit from the price change. To get a better idea of this, let's go through some of the most popular types of derivatives. Forwards and Futures Imagine you have a farm where you grow strawberries from March to July. You'd like to sell your strawberries for $2 a pound. It's a fair price that covers your cost and gives you some profit. But you don't know how much strawberries will cost in June. Maybe $2.3, which is good, but maybe $1.8, which is bad, because this price won't cover your expenses. You have a friend who owns a confectionery famous for their strawberry cakes. She also likes the price of $2 a pound. Because if strawberries are more expensive in June, she will have less profit from every cake. Both of you agree that losing potential gains is not worth risking your businesses. That's why you make a contract in March specifying that in June your friend will buy 20,000 pounds of your strawberries for a price of $2 a pound, no matter what the market prices would be at this time. If you make this contract on the exchange, we'll call it a futures contract. If the agreement is made between two of you without any exchange involved, it'll be a forward contract. Options For two years in a row, strawberry market prices were higher than $2, so you feel a bit disappointed. You don't want to make futures and forward contracts anymore. However, you'd like to continue to work with your friend, so you propose to her a new type of contract where you leave yourself an option to sell her strawberries if the market price is $2 or less or not to sell in case the price goes up. But what's my profit? She asks you. To compensate her losses in case you choose to sell strawberries in June to somebody else, you pay her a certain sum in March. This contract is called a put option. Your friend also can initiate a contract where she has an option to buy or not to buy your strawberries in June. In this case, she'll pay you in March and the contract would be a call option. Swaps These are a bit more complicated, but strawberries can help with anything. Imagine that your expenses on growing strawberries, water, seeds, fertilizer, salaries, are more or less stable, but your income is unstable. Sometimes it's a good year and you get more than $2 from every pound. Some years your confectionery friend doesn't need all of your harvest and bad weather does its bit too. To protect your business, you look to secure your income, even if that means less profit in a good year. To do this, you find somebody who will guarantee you a stable income of $2 per pound in exchange for your unstable income of $1.8 to $2.3 per pound. What's his interest? Your future income plus a certain rate. That's a commodity swap. There is also an interest rate swap that allows companies to exchange interest rate payments. Or you can make a total return swap by exchanging a total return of a certain security on a fixed or floating rate payment. As you've probably already guessed, strawberries are certainly not the most popular asset for derivatives, but you can replace them with literally any other valuable thing. The main idea of most of those contracts is an exchange of a floating income to a fixed income, depending on what is your interest at the moment. Through derivatives, one party can hedge its position while the other tries to get profit from speculation on a future price of an asset. Where can I get a derivative? If you look for a standardized and regulated contract protected from default by a counterparty, welcome to the exchanges. There you can usually buy or sell futures and options. 
If you need a more tailor-made forward, swap, or an option, those are made private, or in other words, over the counter. Well, did we manage to make derivatives clear to you? Let's thank Strawberries for this. That's all for today's video. I hope you find it interesting and helpful. Let me know what you think about the use of derivatives in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos.